On the 16th of September, you'll be able to use your contactless bank card to tap in and out of the Tube, DLR and Overground trains. It'll work just like your Oyster card, uh, except we've just tapped your bank card instead. But it won't replace your Oyster card, so if you're going to keep hold of that, make sure you keep it separate so you don't uh, be double billed tap. twice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't, don't double dip or double tap. Yeah. Um, it also opens the door for other kinds of payments, like mobile phone payments. In fact, EE customers will be able to use the Cash on Tap app on their Android phones from September 16th, so good news for travellers who like to travel light. But also, I mean, when you get to those gates, it'll be like, phone, uh, which, what, <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah, phone <laughs> um, Yeah, but that's becoming soon, that's good okay. news. Brilliant. And then moving on to Dot London, which I've seen more and more advertising for. Yes, well, if you want your own Dot London domain name, you better be quick, because the three-month launch period ends on Thursday, and that's been giving Londoners uh, top priority over these uh, new domain names. Um, I looked at the most popular ones that have been requested, and the top two are... Uh, properties.london and nightlife.london, which sort of sums up life in the capital. And I bag my own, sandsharma.london, check it out. Well, actually, <laughs> there's nothing there yet, don't check it out. <laughs> but isn't it a gold rush? So there's no guarantee that you've got sandsharma.london. Yeah, so uh, if it's your name and there's no other claim to it, it's yours, but you might be contested if you're living outside of London or if you don't have a company. But um, if you want your own, you can go to this tongue twister of a domain name, www.londondomains.london. <laughs> Which Catchy. is an actual address. Or yeah. we'll just Google it, might be easier. <laughs> um, and then moving on to sleep, something us here on the breakfast team take very seriously. Yeah, this is one for you. I think you need this, <laughs> uh, with all due respect. It's called the uh, Sense uh, Whole Sleep System, and it consists of three things. It's got this glowing orb that you can see there that sits on your bedside table, um, a little sensor that clips to your pillow, and an app for your smartphone, which sort of brings it all together. You can see that guy waving at it there, just his own little friend. Uh, together it tracks the length and depth of your sleep, uh, but also the environment around you. So noise, temperature, light, humidity, and air particles. And it does this cool thing. It, it will record the sounds you might make in your sleep. So I'm not sure if it's you'd want to play that back. Yeah. <laughs> They're not kind of two tones are coming out of that. But you can pre-order Sense from Kickstarter now for £60. It's out in November. Isn't there a... Aren't you meant to kind of banish technology when you're going to sleep? You're it? supposed to keep it away from you, but if you... I mean, that thing looks quite nice, actually, doesn't it? It's quite a decorative piece on your bedside table. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to let you introduce this one. I mean, you'll have to believe me, this is a true story. Uh, Russian scientists have regained control of a gecko sex satellite that had been missing in space. I'm going to have to explain, because that sounds you like really a random are. string of words I just made up there. Um, but there are, currently there's five geckos up in space that are testing the effects of microgravity on sex. Um, and last week, the Russian scientist failed to uh, communicate with the satellite due reportedly to a um, reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> scientists since have re-established communications with the geckos and they're monitoring them closely for any signs of activity. Basically, if the satellites are rocking, don't come knocking. So they've been told to go up to space and mate. And do it. Yeah. Why? 